got iron? So if you watch my videos, you see that I detect predominantly in areas that are just littered with iron, right? It sounds like a machine gun, as I've said in the past, and you just have to work for it. So here are some tips on how to work through very iron junky areas where it's just, you know, you can't swing left or right without hearing a bunch of signals at all. Now, half of the tips, three of these tips are gonna be for the XP Deus specifically, and then the other three of the six tips are gonna be, if you have any detector, you can use these things. So let's start off with the first tip for the XP Deus. You wanna crank that reactivity all the way up to five. Make it as fast as possible because you have to penetrate through all those different signals. When you up your reactivity, make sure you check your silencer, because sometimes it changes, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the program you're on. So if you crank it up to five, go into the expert menu, check silencer, make sure that's at minus one. So that's the first tip. You wanna be as quick as possible with those signals in between all those iron pieces. Okay, so when it comes to the first tip, reactivity, if you're using the XP Deus, crank it up to five. If you got an ORX, crank it up to three but it's really, really simple to do. Let me show you how it goes. Um, using, using my own Magnum program, I just go into menu, reactivity, pump it up to five. Um, if you want, you should also check out your silencer, make sure that's at number one, make sure everything's coming through. Let me just show you the difference between a high, freak, uh, a high reactivity and a low one, like a number two. So why don't we take a look and see what this sounds like here. Things are coming through pretty good, you know, but a little slower thud. Crank it up to five, and again, you want to swing a little faster when you're using five. Here are all those little things in between. You're getting a lot much more action there. So definitely try bumping that reactivity up as much as you can. Tip number two is relevant for any metal detector. Just go fast and then go slow. Use different speeds over the same area to check those signals. You know, when you're on the XP Deus, especially if you're running Reactivity 5, you wanna pretty much swing it fast. But I sometimes slow my swing down, listen for things that maybe I missed. Um, so it's a good idea to go back and forth, do things fast, do things slow, see if you hear something different. Okay, so the next tip is pretty simple, right? Go fast, go slow. See if you can hear any blips in between. So I'm gonna go fast first and then I'm gonna slow it down. See, I'm just hearing so many things, right? But if I slow things down, I might hear something come through here that's going to say, hey, dig me, Grant, dig me. Don't know. I've hit this area a lot <laughs> in all these different programs and chips, so, but yeah, that's not something I'd probably go for, but you get the gist. Try it out. Go fast. If you're in reactivity fast by default. You'll want to swing that fast, but if you slow down your swing, you'll see what you can find and just look around. Tip number three is for the XP Deus users. Try going down to negative discrimination. It'll go down to about, I think, negative 6.4. Um, sometimes that's a bit too sensitive. I sometimes run it around negative two, negative three if conditions allow. Again, that's just letting me get more ground feedback, letting me hear more of the chirps a little bit more, and I get to, uh, See if I find something, and sometimes it works. It's worth trying out that different discrimination. So go down to the negative discriminations. So with the XP Deus, you can run it wide open at zero discrimination, which is what I normally do. But you can also go to negative discrimination. That's really taking advantage of the machine's ability to get into the soil and figure out what those ground conditions are and provide even more feedback to you. So I try to crank it as high, or as should I say, as low negative as I can, as long as it remains stable. Um, if I go too much, it, it's depending on the property, it's a bit much. On a junkie property, I'm usually pretty good at three. So it's really easy to do too. So go into your program, 
go into menu and you see your discrimination is at zero, I can just hold that down and go the way. I'm gonna go all the way and max it out down to 6.4. But, and here actually feels pretty stable. Sometimes I get a little bit too much noise. Um, but right now, for this area, you hear that little buzz almost kind of sounds like intermittent um, audio gain, right? Um, but it's just giving me those signals from this soil. See, there's a little squeaker there. I'll check that out later. But maybe that's something I should go for. So try negative discrimination and um, let me know what you think. This tip again is good for any metal detector that you're using. Swing at it from different angles, right? So a lot of us are gridding parallel left to right. Try changing your angles a little bit and how you're approaching those targets. Especially if you're in an area with a bunch of junky nails, getting it at the right angle might let that coin or that relic get through where hitting it at other angles might not. So it's worth a try and hitting in different directions. Well, this is an easy tip that anyone could do. Hit the property from different angles. Don't just go one line back and forth or even at a 90 degree angle back and forth. Go at different angles. See what happens. See what happens when you change direction. So I'll demonstrate it, but I think you get the gist, right? So if I'm used to just going like this, back and forth, overlapping swing, now I'm gonna turn around go back this way again overlapping swings overlapping lanes you should always overlap the lanes as well so all right i've done that way i'm going to go left and right now i'm going to go this way same thing back and forth but what i like to do is i'll hit it at a 45 degree angle get a little squeaker sometimes maybe something is hiding under those nails and this is an opportunity to find that Next tip, if you are using an XP Deus or even using the XP ORX, try using IAR, which is Iron Amplitude Rejection. That's available in the Gold program. So look at that setting and crank that up all the way as high as it goes um, to number five. What that does is it's different than regular discrimination in that it rejects surface iron um, so that you can penetrate below to it. It's, it's a really cool setting and quite honestly I'm still getting used to it I'm still experimenting and playing around but I can tell you one of the times I was at this property that's just riddled with iron I did sniff out a King George the third uh, copper penny um, that was just that I've missed in my own program uh, so <laughs> it just goes to show you uh, try different things learn and see what you can find out so this next tip again is for the XP Deus or ORX only it's something I'm still getting used to and that's IAR iron amplitude rejection it's available in the gold field program so let me show you what i do there so just navigate down oop, past it to gold field go to menu going to go down to disc iar again that's iron amplitude rejection i'm going to crank that up all the way to five now i've created my own iar program with a couple different settings um you know change sensitivity and things like that so i've got it right there so let me show you how different this sounds because it's it's very pitchy versus the full tones i normally use hear that now what you're also hearing or not hearing is all that iron right because it's rejecting the surface iron it's trying to penetrate through so that i'm only getting conductive targets underneath all the iron um, so it's a little bit different than what I'm used to, but again, I had success using it. And the more you use it, the more you play around, you know, your chances are gonna go up. But what you're listening to is for, see a bleep like that, that comes out and saying, all right, well, maybe that's a bigger piece of iron, but maybe it's something conductive that's pushing through that I've missed before. So I'm gonna play around with this for a little bit, see if anything comes up. Final tip, and this goes for everybody. When you're digging in a lot of iron, expect to dig a lot of iron. It's just the nature of the beast, okay? Um, whether it's a little iron false that maybe you want to check out, 
or sometimes even when there's a good target there's two or three different nails in that same plug so you just have to be patient you have to expect that if you're digging in an iron rich area you're going to dig a lot of iron so don't let that discourage you it's all about knowing the property you're on if it's worth spending the time in that area and you might get rewarded yeah so nothing to demo on that last tip it's just you're gonna have to dig a lot if you want to hunt in the iron there's things hiding masking everything going on you just have to be prepared to deal with it and get through it hey look at me I got a decent signal amongst the iron um, it's not perfect it's not pure but again it's surrounded by iron so let's dig it and see what it is iron 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 there it is again a little squeaker if you're in a farm field you might say eh, I don't know about that noisy all over the place Let's see. Whoa, listen to that. 70, 73. Now that I've got, hear that? Surface iron. Got underneath that iron and got to a good conductor. And would you forking believe this? Look at that. A nice fork here and you heard underneath this plug here underneath this plug here there's iron in here and I got this nice fork out of there so it was a squeaker it was coming through now you might say hey it was the iron squeaking and I got lucky maybe but again that's why that last tip you got to prepare to dig a lot of iron but I will take this nice so cool, now you're prepared to go out and search in the iron. Uh, please let me know how you make out if you try any of these tips. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share this video if you think others would like it. Check out the XP Team USA YouTube channel and Facebook group. Check out Gary Blackwell's videos on XP Metal Detectors um, YouTube channel as well as um, Metal Detecting Skill Schools so many good things out there for you to help um, and they're entertaining too so until next time